was going over the Dana 30 rear end, trying to get some input, advice, opinions on uh, how much it'll handle, if it'll handle the stock 5.3 or not, just to kind of drive. This is not punching it. This is not power braking, burnouts, nothing like that. This is just point A to point B, going to little meets and stuff like that. Um, of course, once it's running, if there's no major issues, uh, it won't be long before I'll get the an 8.8.31 spline narrowed and dropped in here, but today I'm going to jack it up. We're going to verify the gear ratio and see if it's got a posi or open differential. So I got a jack stand underneath each side here, and I uh, got the jack itself underneath the chunk. So the way to check for posi or a clutch style or system, driver wheel forward. I mean, you can do it either side. If that wheel turns the opposite direction, it's open diff. If they turn together, then it's some kind of closed system. All right, so I'm going to hold the, the input shaft so the ring gear can't turn. I'm going to turn the passenger wheel forward. Okay, the driver wheel is going in reverse. That means it's an open differential. All right, so we're going to take this piece of wood and the little hammer and wedge it. So the tire can't turn. I've chalked the wheel over there up so I'm gonna have to get a paint marker and mark the tire probably about 12 o'clock and I'll mark the input at about 12 o'clock. If in case you don't understand a gear ratio is the ratio between the input and that and the wheel rotations okay so You'll see gear ratios uh, like a 373 gears, 410 gears, 355, 323s, and whatnot. Okay. That 323 to 1 means that the input has to turn 3.23 times for the wheel to rotate one time. Well, we can't really calculate very accurately just making one rotation. I'm going to turn the tire 10 times, starting at 12 o'clock. We'll start the input shaft at 6 o'clock. We're going to count the rotations, get that number, multiply it times 2, and move the decimal over. And that'll be our gear ratio. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, let me do the calculation now. 